In this tutorial, this tutorial will cover the exterior angle theorem. So this applies to triangles. So let's get started. Today you should be able to say that you can find the missing angle measures in a triangle using the exterior angle theorem. So you need to know these three things. One, that the sum of all three interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Two, that an exterior angle is supplementary to its adjacent interior angle, which means they also sum to 180 degrees. And since that is true, then that means that an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So let's take a look at this. Here we go. The exterior angles of a triangle are equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. So if I have an exterior angle here, then this number will be equal to the sum, right, the adding of these two opposite, meaning non-adjacent, not touching angles here. So this is an adjacent angle to the exterior angle. See, these two are supplementary. They add up to 180. So if all of these three angles add up to 180, then these three will have the same sum as these two. So since these two have the same sum, then to make 180, you're only missing this. And if these three make 180 and you're only missing this, then that must mean that these two are equal to that. That's the exterior angle theorem. So. You can write a sentence that 150 is equal to the opposite interior angles added together. Now remember, the adjacent angle is supplementary, but the opposite two angles are equal to this exterior angle. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. All right, solve for x. So x is an exterior angle, an outside angle. Remember, an outside angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So that means for us that x would be equal to 30 plus 90, or x is equal to 120. In my second example, I'll put an x here where that big question mark is, x would be equal to the sum of these two, but I don't know what that is. But I also know that my exterior angle is supplementary to this one. So for us, this mystery angle is equal to 30 degrees, right, plus that has to make 180. So if 30 degrees plus my mystery angle has to equal 180, then that means my mystery angle is 150. So these are the two ideas you're working with today. The first idea is that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of these two opposite angles, and the other one is an old piece of information, that two adjacent angles that fall on the same line have a sum of 180 degrees, right? They're supplementary. So let's take a look at two more. All right, an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the opposite two interior angles. So for us, x is equal to 100. Remember, the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. Do a little bit of properties here. Whoops, that's a wrong property. <laughs> because 40 and 5x are not like terms. So I need to subtract x this time. So 4x equals 40, or x equals 10. All right, you ready to give it a try? 
pause the video and try these two now. All right, ready to see how you did? Let's take a look. Remember the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. All right, let's try a few more. This one has a little more algebra to it. I have an exterior angle and it's equal to the sum of the two interiors. So eight plus six X will be equal to four X plus two plus 30. But this side has too many terms. So I'm gonna combine them here. And then I'm gonna subtract four X from both sides. Whoops. I'm gonna subtract eight. That should be a positive two, sorry. I'm gonna get two X equals 24. I'm gonna divide by two. I'm gonna get X equals 12. All right, how about this second one? The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior angles. This side has too many terms, so I'm going to add these together. So 140 is equal to 11x plus 8. Minus 8. Get that right? 8, 9, 10, 11, 4 plus 4. Yep, 140 minus 8 divided by 11. Okay, that's all right. So x is equal to 12. Okay, I think you're ready to try some of these algebra ones on your own. So pause the video and give these two a try. All right, you ready to check your work? Let's see how you did. Pause the video to look it over. All right, I think you're ready to take a look at two more examples here. All right, we're going back to something simple from the beginning using just numbers. So take a look at my work. And then we make it a step harder by using algebra, right? So this is what it is with it's just numbers. So my outside angle is equal to the sum of my two interior angles. My outside angle is equal to the sum of my two interior angles. Or my outside angle is equal to the sum of my two algebraic interior angles. Pause the video. Take a good long look at this problem. All right. Take out a piece of paper and try these last two on your own. Pause the video. All right, let's see how you did. Pause the video to take a look at these answers. All right, great job. That concludes our lesson on the exterior angle theorem for triangles.